Callan. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, so obviously you're at training camp at the moment, um, along with having two uh, two on ice trainings a day. There's been a strong focus on tactics uh, as well. So out of those sessions, what do you think you've learned so far about this 2019 team? Uh, I think from the first training that we jumped on the ice, it was pretty clear we've got a really skilled bunch of girls this year. Um, we're all at a pretty similar level, I think, in terms of skills and, and skating and where we're at. And so, and most of us are pretty familiar with each other. So as soon as we got on the ice, it was pretty clear that we were just straight away going to be into it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And uh, we had a couple of playbook sessions as well, which have been quite valuable. Um, we, we haven't changed our systems a lot from, from previous years, so it's pretty straightforward for a lot of the vets, but getting the, the new wheels up to speed is probably where the focus is as well. Yeah, so yeah, speaking of that, yeah, you've got six rookies on the team this year. How do you think they've gelled with the squad? Oh, they're, they're amazing. They're such a good group of girls. They're Honestly, all, all of them have just hit the ice with 110% and they've got like so much energy and effort that they're putting into it. It's it's. Yeah, it's awesome. Nice. Um, and you played you played a warm up game against the EHV Sabers earlier this week. Uh, who I understand they're the Austrian champion, so that must have been a pretty good test for you guys. Um, yeah. As as captain, what do you think? Uh, you know, what do you think were your biggest takeaways from that first like proper head out for the team? Well, when we came into that game and we had no idea who we were playing. We didn't know. We had nothing to expect really, except you know what we wanted to achieve when we walked out there. So um, we have had a couple of uh, issues on the team in terms of sickness. We've had a bit of a bug going around. Oh, yeah. So we were down a couple of players for that first game, which wasn't ideal. But um, yeah, we walked out there and we wanted to execute our systems as best we could. And I was impressed at how well we kept pace with them. They were a really fast team. And they had a couple of really skilled players and we managed that really well and it, it definitely showed a couple of things that we needed to work on which we're actually going to work on this morning in training nice but um overall i'm i was super impressed with the way that we came together as a team and there was a lot of you know coaches are trying to figure out which lines are going to work best together which players are going to work best together so there's a lot of sort of swapping and changing and i think we adapted pretty well to that awesome um now obviously with that you've had your first game wearing the new jerseys what do you think of them Oh, uh, yeah. The jerseys are really, really cool, actually. And we had a little um, sort of handout ceremony uh, before that first game. And I, I t I'll tell you, there were tears. There were some tears <laughs> there. It was for a couple of girls, you know, to wear the jersey for the first time is a really big deal. Yeah. And it even got some of the vets crying. Like I saw. <laughs> So, yeah, they're really cool jerseys, actually. Um, they're a bit different for us to get used to. The collars are quite different. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they're pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah, like was high tech? A fight tag. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fight tag. Nice. I thought it was just to hold my shirt down to my pants. Shows how naive I am. <laughs> yeah, I can't say you've ever been in a fight before, have you? <laughs> no, no, I'm not really the type. <laughs> yeah, so you've got uh, yeah one more warm up game to go before it all wraps up with your training camp. What's the focus for tonight's matchup? Yeah, so this morning before the before the game, we've got a training, and we, I think we're going to really. Um, work on a couple of things that we noticed. A lot of the things were things like we weren't letting the shot off early enough. Yeah. And um, probably our D zone coverage needed a little bit of work in terms of when, when the puck shifts, how we respond to that. Um, so I think those are the things we really want to tidy up. Um, we've got Caitlin Heal joining us today, which is really exciting. So and our, we've got our full squad back on deck. <laughs> so I think a lot of it is going to be us really wanting to come together with our lines and execute the systems awesome. that we want to play. Yeah, now yeah. Um, we know that obviously like Daniel Strayer, uh, she swapped the goal crease for the blue line and Taryn Bruce has gone from D to the forwards. So how do you think that transition has been working out for them so far? Oh, they're embracing it. They're doing such a good job. I think Taryn has really showed herself um, to be a force in front of the net. She's so strong and she gets her stick to things that you don't expect it to, to be able to get to. And even, you know, being a lefty as well in our team adds another another level of diversity. So I think she's really excelling in that position. And Danielle, I can't get over how talented she is. Like, <laughs> I can barely play my one position. <laughs> and she's she's come into, into D just easy. 
Like it's so natural. She still blocks a few shots here and there, but. <laughs> hey, that's good though. That's good. Um, yeah. Now, aside from them, who do you think have been some like standout players so far uh, in camp for you? Oh, every, honestly, it's really hard to pick because I honestly think everyone's doing really, really well. For me, I've been super impressed with Hannah Cross. That girl has some serious like energy and effort and she's like sitting up on the bunk up there so <laughs> <laughs> she can't be saying this <laughs> but no I'm really impressed um I think it's just something that all of the rookies I think have really shown what they're capable of um and you know of course all the vets we've played together for quite a long time a couple of us and yeah we know we know each other well and I'm always impressed with with the shots and stuff that are coming out um I think some of the standouts Rachel Neville Lamb had an amazing game the other night, some of her back checks were just incredible. Mm. Um, same with Jamie Jones. Jazz scored some incredible goals as well. She sort of did her thing and dangled a couple of people and popped a shot. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. It, so I think everyone's doing really, really well. <laughs> Bringing in those hands that Rachel was talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she's got hands. <laughs> <laughs> now, away from hockey, you guys managed to uh, take a bit of time away from the rink and check out the sights of Vienna yesterday. What were some highlights for you? Oh, yeah, Vienna was um, fun, actually. I hadn't been before, so it was, an, it was a new new experience. Um, we had a, a, a little bus tour, and we had this really like, lovely guide named Alice who um, told us about Vienna. She was really sweet. Um, it was a great time to come together as a team. We had, had a couple of, we had a rookie up on the mic giving us a, a <laughs> sing along and <laughs> um, we, we had, had a good lunch together, a lot of schnitzel. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and just sort of took some time to, to chill out, actually. We, a couple of us went to a hockey shop and wandered <laughs> around and <Classic. laughs> got a photo with the owner and stuff. But, yeah, it was a really nice day just to sort of take a breather. Yeah. Now, um, obviously, like last year, your training camp was in Toronto. Uh, how has this camp in Austria differed? Like, what's the reception been like from the locals? If I'm honest, we haven't had a lot of time out because we've been here in St. Paulton um, and this facility is incredible. It's got everything. It has gyms. It has um, obviously the rink. It's all newly renovated. The food is here on site. It's amazing. It's really, really good food. So we haven't really had to go anywhere, yeah. <laughs> um, which sounds, you know, you're kind of like, oh, you know, that's a bit sad, but actually it's, it's really good because it means we've just been really focused. Mm. And we've been spending a lot of time together as a team, which is which is great. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely different from last year, but I think we're spending more time on the ice, which is what's what's important. Yeah, so, awesome. Yeah. Uh, honestly, like, can't wait. I know you're only a few days away from um, the tournament. Uh, just one last question. Is there any game mm -hmm. in particular you're really looking forward to the most? For me, it's always Iceland. We've had very close games with Iceland, probably some of my favorite hockey moments and my, I guess, you know, toughest hockey moments have been against Iceland. Yeah. So I know that every time we come up against them, it's going to be a good game. They're actually a really, really great team of girls as well. So, you know, we play really hard on the rink and then off the rink, we're, you know, we're good mates. So I'm looking forward to that. Nice. Well, all the best, Helen, uh, and we will be definitely cheering from back home. <laughs> <laughs>